Hello folks, welcome to the channel. Before we get into this very important news about OpenXR, I'd just like to point out that this video is proudly sponsored by VR Wave, which are a tailor-made prescription lens insert provider that correct for nearsightedness, farsightedness, and any astigmatism you may have. Now, even if you don't wear glasses, it's very important to protect your lenses uh, and also have a blue light filter to protect your eyes as well. I have a 5% discount code. Go grab it now while it's still available. Right, back to the video. Hello folks, welcome to my desktop. We're at the Microsoft Store app because the OpenXR development tool, which by the way is different from the OpenXR development tool kit, <laughs> has just been updated and this is how you do it. Make sure that you're in your Microsoft Store app like me and it'll be here. Now mine was last modified on the 19th of the 6th, so it's actually quite old. So the way to do it, to check, because it doesn't always show, is to get updates. Let it do its thing. My internet is really slow today for whatever reason. There we go. And suddenly it appears right there. There it's gone already, look. <laughs> it's done it already. <laughs> Amazing. But yeah, I'm doing this video to make sure that you guys know that it's important to update this regular because it seems the OpenXR development tools really the main focus is for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now in this case, um, and this is from one of the developers himself, this is uh, Matt, who is the creator and founder of the toolkit, as you may know, that they have fixed an issue with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Right, however, there's another big one coming up this month, okay? And it is all about motion reprojection. And thank you to my Discord members for sort of bringing this to my attention before even I knew about it. If you want to join my Discord, by the way, there will be a link in the description below. But basically, um, I'm going to just read what he's put here on the post. This is Matt, who works for OpenXR. Now, he said that they've worked on a few changes to improve the reliability of the motion reprojection process scheduling. And this will hopefully prioritize the operating system's workload when using motion reprojection uh, which hopefully will reduce interferences from the game's workload try saying that after a few pints <laughs> anyway you know i think this is really important to point out and i'm looking forward to trying this update when it lands later this month but in the meantime please make sure you update the OpenXR development tool. As you can see, it's very easy to do, and that way it should keep your sim running pretty smooth. Thank you so much for watching, folks. As always, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.